Hello, everyone. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this to this afternoon webinar. How is everyone doing today? I already saw Mark posted good afternoon from Belgium. So I see a lot of people, they join this webinar. I'm very excited. I'm very happy because really the subject we're going to discuss about, it's a uh, one of the most important reasons traders, they make it or they don't make it in trading. And uh, it's normal at the beginning to have some different thoughts coming in our head, some different behaviors. But at some point, we need to understand how the market really works, how the, what sort of behavior we have to develop towards trading in order for us to experience trading from the happiness side, let's let's uh, say better. Ronald, hello, Claudia, hello. I would like to hear from you guys. Where are you coming from? Your name and where are you coming from? Or where are you based? In which country are you based? That will be interesting just to know each other. Uh, I recognize a few names from here that people that participate on the live trading webinar I do Monday to Friday in the morning. Ronald from Guadeloupe. Wow, nice. Uh, Sherry here <laughs> from Romania. Fantastic. All right, guys. Excited, excited. Where I based? I'm in. Uh, I'm in Europe, and I'm in Cyprus right now. So. It's pretty pretty nice here. It's still warm for December. So let's let me just go through. Okay, guys, just to make sure that everyone understands this uh, webinar, it's for general information, and it's not intent to provide trading or investment uh, advice or personal recommendations. So what's the today's subject? Well, trading psychology, you already know it's the series of events. I do. And for today, especially, we're gonna uh, we're gonna experience that emotional roller coaster traders uh, go through now. Just to make it very clear, guys, appreciate, I don't know if people, they already sent your request. Uh, when we finish the sessions, especially on the on the Zoom webinars, you always redirect it to give us a, a feedback. Okay, I appreciate many people, they gave feedback, especially from the previous webinar. And some people, they watched the webinar on the recording on YouTube, and they came later to the live trading. They left some feedbacks that they would like to understand more and more what, what we said about the probabilities and uh, what, why trend someone, I can't remember the name, but someone asked, trend, it's a simple way of trading. Uptrend, it's a series of higher highs and higher lows. For those who don't know what is uptrend, it's a series of up. It's a series of higher highs and higher lows. So, and we say simple every time the price pullbacks and do some correction, we find some entry areas that we have interest and where we believe that buying activity will be, buying pressure will overcome selling pressure. So let's say it's this area here. We expect the price to come here. We see the price and we just buy. And they say, okay, okay, Theo, that sounds simple. It is simple. We understand it. It's simple, but why can't we do it? And that's the biggest problem, guys, in trend, in trend trading. Why traders, they can't act and do what they have to do, what they're supposed to do. And then they go through that emotional roller coaster. We're going to go through today. 
but uh, just to let you know, because this is connected a lot with the previous sessions we've done about trading psychology, this is going to be something that it's going to use a lot of slides from the previous uh, trading session. So here at Admirals, for those who are new here and you join us for first time, we are a Forex and CFD broker. We offer thousands and thousands on financial instruments. You can trade, you can invest. We also creating one of the, I believe we could have created one of the biggest investing hub. So you can, uh, you can also, you are already investing with us, but you can expand your investment activity as well very soon. Wherever you are, whatever language you speak, we have support to support you with anything you need. We have license from many countries, um, CISEC from uh, England, FCA, from Estonia, EFSA, from South Africa, from Canada now, and from Australia, the ASIC spreads. They try to keep as much as possible to the minimal in order for you to experience trading in a better way, because as trader, trust me, especially as an intraday trader, you want the spreads to be as minimal as possible. Because if you go on the five minute chart, the 15 minute chart, you want to trade, for example, the Euro USD. If you have a spread of two pips and you are aiming to make 10 pips, then you need to add the spread, you need to add some error, some correction. And in an impulse move, if the market is not going to trade in your direction, maybe it's not going to give you the desirable distance so you can make your, your, your trading. You can access our, our uh, instruments through the MetaTrader platforms now. Soon we are uh, finalizing the transition, the interaction with trading view for those who are trading on the trading view. Uh, to be honest, I love doing my analysis and I do my analysis uh, on the trading view because it's much simple to do it. And I place my orders on uh, using the Admirals mobile application. Um, so it's pretty cool for me. Here at Admirals, we do on a weekly basis the fundamental analysis in a in a podcast format. So you can go to our website and you can download it. I will show you where to find it. The only thing I can tell you is please make sure you engage yourself with the podcast because it's the best way to learn first what the news will be for the current week. Second, how to explain the news in a simple way that you will understand it. And the third and most important, but in order to implement the third one, you need to understand the podcast. So I make sure you understand it. And then we go how to ex how to implement what you learn about the news events in your trading. Many times, this knowledge and this information I give you through the podcast, it helps you either to stay out of some really unpromising trades, also to understand the strength in the currency's correlation. Is this going to come from the one day to another? I don't think so, but if you give yourself time to understand how the market works, then definitely, definitely you're going to be happy every time you're trading. You're going to first be detached by any emotional signal. <laughs> okay. Then we have the Instagram account and the YouTube account. Just very quickly, allow me to share the screen.
it's this one here so guys this is the youtube channel i'm sending you the link if you haven't follow us on the youtube and subscribe and enable your notification buttons please make sure you do and here it's the admirals global instagram page also please follow us here on a on a daily basis we put stories we put um all relevant things on a weekly basis about the markets trading ideas as you can see about stocks market is in 30 seconds every week i give you updates tomorrow i'm going to do the next one so i will give you updates about the market there are very important things to know for this week and last one the the telegram here many uh posts they come out so you can read them with one click you can go to the website also if you download if you have the telegram in your phone and not through the uh through the web i think you are uh, able to do the commenting so you can comment on every post if you want to ask anything i'm on the telegram all the time i keep an eye on the on the channel here at Admiral, so I can answer anything you want to ask there, guys. Okay, so feel free to use the social media here. It's for your own benefit. We make them so your trading and investment journey can be much, much easier than. So let's go back to, um, and sorry, just to, show you about something else guys uh next week we're gonna put together i'm sure you already received uh, some emails we're gonna have myself paul and jens uh an, an impressive uh session about what's in for the 2023 we're gonna share our um our opinions our analysis what do we see the markets doing how did the markets perform in 2022 and what to expect to uh to happen in 2023 and we're going to go through the of course based on technical analysis fundamental analysis and from traders how can you um, treat yourself when you are when you are trading to be honest okay so i'll share the link with you please please feel free and make sure you uh, you join this uh, webinar. It's going to be, in my opinion, a unique event because for the first time, myself, Paul and Jens, we're going to uh, go together live and that's going to be a brilliant, brilliant session. Okay, guys. So unfortunately, you cannot speak and say, okay, so I can hear you, but I hope that everybody is still there. You haven't fallen asleep on your chair yet. And I hope you're going to enjoy this session today as well. Uh, PowerPoint. So here it is. Now, for those who see me for first time, my name is Theo. I'm in this industry for more than 10 years. I have a master's in physics. My education is in physics and maths. I'm a long-term investor when it comes to investing. I like to get uh, to buy and hold automotive and uh, technology stocks and cryptocurrencies, digital currencies. And uh, when it comes to trading, I'm definitely a swing trader. I use technical analysis, purely, purely technical analysis for my trading decisions. And uh, if you uh, adapt my trading style and you use technical analysis, trust me, you're going to find yourself totally detached by any emotional things about uh, trading, about investing, and you're going to experience trading in a, in a unique environment, in a unique mental environment. Now, today's agendas. Why do we close trades much earlier? And it's not the problem that we close them much earlier. The problem is that we close them with very very small minimal profits and then all over the sudden when we see trades they go against us and we are losing we are hoping that the market is going to come back to give us a good break even uh and exit 
so we can get out of the trade. So what we end up doing, we end up closing trades very late. And why is this problem? I'm sure everyone has the common sense to understand it. It's because if you close a trade too late, it means you are getting too, too big losses on a trade. And how do we solve this problem? Well, with the law of probability, if we understand how the market moves, why they move the way they move, and that everything has a probable outcome in the markets, then we're going to definitely experience trading from a unique mental point. Okay, so let's get started. At first, we have to understand what an uptrend development is. Okay, and it's very, really, it's interesting why, how people, they, they understand what do they see here. They see an uptrend, they see series of higher highs and higher lows. But when it comes to, to the actual time, the execution time, it's something mystery is happening, something magical going on in traders' head. And unfortunately, they don't take the actions they're supposed to take. And that's why they go through that emotional roller coaster, through this battle of should I leave the trade on? Should I close the trade much earlier? Now, let's understand one more time or let's recap one more time what, what an uptrend is. It's a series of higher highs. Yeah, we see this peaks here, we see these troughs here that let's say if the price at this point here on this axle here, if the price it has the number 10, just putting round numbers, then over the time here it's the time, let's say this is the 1st of December, then gradually, gradually the time it's moving from 10, it's going below to far to eight to six to seven to five and then let's say this is the sixth of December and then it goes higher the five becomes six again seven again scales up climbs up and then let's say we are on the 20th of December my God, December I was about to write 20th of the 15th yeah but we don't have the 15 month, we have only 12 months. So 20th of the December, and we see the price goes to $20, for example. So what do we understand from this? That the price over time gain in value. An item, for example, became more expensive. The iPhone or the Samsung from $10, they are on sale now for $20. What do we do if we want, if we are convinced that the market is moving to the upside, what do we want to do? That's what we're going to see now. So when we see the market is making this series of every time it moves every time the time passes and it registers higher times higher uh, prices over time we expect this market to move to the upside or this asset security instrument to become more expensive this share this stock to become more expensive these digital currencies this uh, currency this commodity Whatever it's the instrument we are trading, right? So a series of higher lows, a series of higher highs indicates that this security, it moves towards in higher prices. So, what traders they do? 
most of the time or what most traders they do and why they do it they see this pattern here so far we don't have higher highs and higher lows right we have only this high and we identified let's say that the market is coming from um sorry from this area here okay so we have this higher high and the market is making this high here what do we understand let's say we are in an actual trading picture now we we see the currency pair of uh, let me write it down let's write it down where is the text let's see we see this currency pair of euro us dollar so after we see this impulse move to the upside someone can observe that this most recent point of resistance on a correction it will become support it will act as support because many traders they will have an interest to buy this market and guess where that interest will be right at the support now why on the support we explained that in previous webinars and we said it many many times um they are on the recording webinars i can show you where to find them so you can watch the why but what do traders unfortunately they do after they spot this nice price structure here and they identify that the market is trending to the upside excuse me they want to they want to participate in the market so first it's the need of participation the need of engagement in the market but we said many times and in my webinars i make it very crystal clear we are interested we are very interested to participate in trending markets when the markets are correcting themselves and i can show you many examples recent examples that we missed to take the trades because the price never came to our level of support to give us the signal we were looking to go to the upside so what happened here a trader observes that at some point after he or she sees this higher high the trader observes this shooting star candlestick pattern shooting star candlestick pattern it's a reversal pattern based on the candlestick explanation and what do traders do can anyone write it on the chat box below can you please write what do you think many traders too including yourself including myself at the very early stages it's normal that's the that's the thing jump in sell exactly exactly traders they think that guys this is really important please pay attention to i saw this development in the price action and i didn't participate in this development so now i have the opportunity 
to participate, I'm going to press the trigger. Now, it's a normal way of thinking. It's nothing wrong. <laughs> you did it a lot. I also did it a lot. That's fine. It's normal. It's normal as humans to think that way. Don't beat yourself up. It is an absolute normal way of human behavior. Now, we believe that if we didn't participate here on this uptrend, during this uptrend, that if we not going to participate in this move here, we're going to miss out. That's what, guys, I'm going through a very human and absolute normal way of thinking. And trust me, you don't doing something wrong. You just don't know how to, to trade based on how the market is thinking, not how you are thinking in the outside world. We say that in uh, technical analysis, we say a lot that the best forecasting tool for a trader is to be a contrarian. But that's not a contrarian. That's the point. That's the thing. People, they are buying, 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 buying. This shooting star candlestick pattern appears. And people, what do they do? Like everyone said on the chat, they are selling. They are selling based on this pattern. But what's the probability that this pattern is going to work to the downside? How great rate of success can this pattern has? In his book, uh, Nelson states that candlestick patterns are powerful, powerful way of trading because they give you the insight of the market in a two, three sessions. If you are trading on the daily chart, it gives you in a two, three sessions what is happening, something that the traditional bar chart cannot tell us. So in Japan, before in 1918 century, they developed these candlestick patterns to help them with their trading. They start with the rice trading, yeah. But on his book, Nelson, it's saying that first, we see the market structure and then we see the candlestick pattern based on the market structure. Why we see the market structure? Because the market structure will hold the orders of where the market is about to move. And we know from the trend analysis theory, from Dow analysis theory, that and from the physics law that any object that it's in a constant move, the only way, and it has a trendable way of, uh, of moving, the only way this it's going to change direction is if a force equal and opposite to this big force here in trading now, if the, the same in sequence force, but opposite in direction, if it's going to come, then and only then we're going to see change in the trend. But the markets, because they do not trade, they don't move in this one-way direction, they do this zigzag formation. That's why we see this retracement, this correction, and so on. I'm sure you understand the concept here. And yes, you spot it really well. The traders, they see this candlestick pattern, they start selling. They enter in the sale, let's say here. The market is moving lower and lower and lower and lower. 
uh, how can my friend join the meeting? You can share the same link you shared with uh, you can share the same link that you used to join the meeting. Let me just put it here quickly for you. I think it's the easiest way. Okay, tell your friend to register here and uh, he or she will get this. Now, what's next? The trader here, as the price moves to the downside, experience winning trades, experience greens in his account. He see that I make money, I make money, I make money. But the trader, unfortunately, doesn't have, once he's in this trade or she's in this trade, the trader doesn't have that clear frame, the clear state of mind to understand the big picture. Why? Because it's caught by that emotional roller coaster started right now in traders' head. They are thinking, I'm making money in our trade. I'm going to make money forever. In our daily lives, we are dealing with the battle, with the battle. I will take an example as um, the job, our job. We are working. We don't expect every one week or every four hours or every 15 minutes to change job. Traders, when they participate in a trade, they are thinking in the same terms that I have this trade. It took me some time to find this trade. So this trade is supposed to go forever. Or I put how much money I want to make. Nothing has to do with how much money I risk. Nothing has to do with risk management. They don't take in consideration anything. How much money I can make. How much money I want to make. I want to buy a, a car, so I want, let's say, X amount of thousands. Okay, I will put 200 on this trade, and I want to make X amount of thousands. It's not the most realistic way of thinking from trading, okay? So, trader, this trader here is selling, and then something happened. The price come and touches the support and it's pushed to the upside. Now, this trader, I will mark this, I will mark this area here as the break-even area. So, the trader, it's so sure that the market is moving downwards and there is no stop loss here. There is no such a thing as stop loss in the trader's mind. There is no such a thing as support. There is no such a thing as this call obstacle. There is no such a thing as I know what is FIB retracement, but I don't care now because I'm the king, I'm the best trader, I'm winning and all this stuff. And the trader is just going at this point here. At this point here, the price is bouncing back and the trader starts feeling different. What am I do? Okay, it just bounce back. It's going to come. It lives by the hope. The first emotion comes to that trader's mind. It's the hope. At this stage, it's 50% it's in a panic, in a, in a low sequence panic mode because it starts hoping, okay, I hope that it's going to push back. Then the market, it's come here. Yeah, I'm really sure it's going, it's time. The market has to push to the downside. I believe it's going to do it. The market is just pushing higher. At this point here, the trader feels overwhelmed, the trader feels frustrated, the trader feels scared, 
If outside it's two degrees, his body is going to be within 25, 30 degrees because he start beating his or herself. What did I do? What am I doing? Why is it not working? Maybe at this point here is initiating more in the trade, is putting another trade here to go short. Why? Because everything starts from there. So at this time, the trader says, it's going to say two things. Either I have enough and I'm out of a trade, but unfortunately, they start adding more to this trade. They initiate more positions. They just see the, the money flowing out of their accounts. They see this higher high, but they are totally, totally closed in their, in their fear, in their frustration. They are terrified that, oh my God, the market took my money. They take everything personally because that's what the society teaches, okay? To take everything personally. And what's, what's, guys, I'm not going to mention any names. I read your comments. I really appreciate you and I really respect you that you have the, um, the guts to express yourself in that way. I'm the only person who read here, so don't worry about that. Write whatever you feel. It's a good way also to take your emotions out. Don't worry about that. Uh, I want you to see me as your mentor, as your, however you can, uh, you can count on me in your trading. So, uh, and I'm here to, to tell you the reality so I can help you to transit from the one side to the other. So, uh, that's okay, I understand. Then, that trader comes to the conclusion that, oh my God, I lost so much. Now, the pain the pain of losing it becomes so so great at this stage and the traders say okay i have enough and i'm going to get out of the position here the trader get out of the position here and imagine what the market is doing boom start falling down the trader says oh my god what did i do i closed the position blah blah the price is retracing back here and it's open another position it goes, it goes down, and then it starts going up. It takes this high, and it's moved to the upside. Unfortunately, most of the traders, they, they go through at least at some stage of their trading development. So everything starts from here. What the traders supposed to do now, right? I'm sure everyone wants to know what a trader supposed to do. A trader supposed to first understand that what I see here is a higher high in the market. Okay, then what do I do? Then what you should do, you should put your support and resistance levels where they're supposed to be. Why? Because there are very important technical levels that the price wants to come there to take a break before it's going to continue. But why, Theo, the price wants to come there? Because that's how the market works. Okay. As I say, I don't have that crystal ball. <laughs> so the only thing we, we know is that the broken resistance will act as support on the subsequent bounces. Now, the trader must be alert that after I recognize this move to the upside, I want to be a buyer. And every sales signal, I will ignore them because I understand as trader I'm not the one who is creating this move, but I'm the one who can be on the right side of the market if I have this correction. So the trader must 
wait until the price comes to this area of support. Then the trader must anticipate some sort of reaction and rejection. If you are a trader that trade based on the candlestick patterns, you have to wait until you see your catalyst appears in the chart. Which one is your catalyst? Well, the one I give is the bullish engulfing or the morning starts. They are great, great reversal patterns or the hammers or the long lower shadow, long lower shadow hammer. They are pretty much the same, but the long lower shadow, it has um, tripled the size of the body. So we identified that this is an area of interest and we expect other traders as well to be buyers here if the market is going to push to the upside. And then we understand that I entered here or there. Regardless, just don't pay too much attention to the size of these candles I draw, nor to neither to the size of these moves here. I don't want you to get confused that this distance here, it's very small and I cannot make one to one. No. Okay, please. That's not the point. Uh, this is just a schematic to help us understand what we have to do in trading. In trading, we cannot beat ourselves up that we miss the move here because if it's the first move, we are not able to, to know that it's going to be the first move because we are not the market makers. I mean, we are not the people with the Hence, and hundreds of millions of dollars, especially in the foreign, foreign exchange market, in the currency market, that has the capacity to create the market moves. So we have to understand that we're going to miss the creation of the move, but we can be at the right side of the market to get the next wave to the upside. So we buy here. And we, yes, expect the market to create another move to the upside, another leg. So at this stage, we understand that buying pressure, overcoming selling pressure, and this support played out well. And we experience now the trading from a different way, right? How do you feel if you allow yourself to have patience and if you allow yourself to trade from strong level of support if you are buying or from strong level of your resistance if you are selling? How would you feel? Wouldn't you feel better, guys? Then we have the opposite in a downtrend. What is a downtrend? It's a price path, it's a price movement that it creates every time it moves to the downside, lower lows and lower highs. So what a trader is doing, it see this move here, they don't put this as the resistance in the market. They see this hammer candlestick pattern. And guess what? Guess what? They just buy. This candlestick pattern, if it appears on a strong weekly level of support or a monthly level of support, or if this candlestick pattern, it's a, it's a monthly candlestick pattern, that's another story to trade it to the upside. But if that's a daily candlestick or a four-hour chart candlestick, 
you see this enormous force to the downside. Why should you start buying here? Again, for the same mental way of thinking as a human being, you bought, you sold, sorry, during an uptrend. For the same way you buying in this downtrend. But that's okay. That's okay. We understand it. Now we learn it. Yeah. It was um, a weird feeling before you find out why you behave this way. It's normal. But now we understand. Let's correct it. Yeah. We don't want to be this buyer here. Guys, price, in order to move to the one side or the other, there are people behind the screens, like you and me, that they take actions. For price to move to the upside, some people buying. You can see them from now on and you can laugh, yes, because you can say to yourself, hey, I'm not going to be that trader that it's going to buy against the trend, not anymore. I want you traders to buy against the trend and give me the move I want as fast as possible. Why not? Until bring the price here at resistance and you will see what it's most likely it's going to happen because we are in a downtrend. Like the USD Japanese yen now, we are in a downtrend. And on the live morning uh, webinars, we said that in a downtrend, we want to be a seller. Yesterday, it was a bullish candle. Is it going to work? Most likely, yes, because we want the price to come here. Now, if you think you are at the state that you can control this buying until this area here, then good luck. My best, best encouragement to you is to be patient and wait for your price to come to an area that you can join the momentum to the downside if you are a seller. So the price comes here, get rejected by resistance, pushes to the downside. The buyer here is so emotionally, mentally, emotionally destroyed within this trader head. He doesn't recognize this pattern anymore. The market is just moving lower, no stop loss, nothing. It's just making lower lows, lower lows. At some point, the trader said, I had enough. I cannot take it anymore. Get out of the trade. One day later, come back to the screen, open this chart. And what he sees? He sees that there's a downtrend. Oh, my God. But the downtrend was existing while I was in the trade. Yes, that's true. But why didn't you close it? Because of the reason we described. All this fear from this point here, and then the fear became greater not to miss out on a trade. Found the candlestick pattern, the trader recognized, press the trigger, and leave it to the universe, to the God decision. But what we're going to do from now on, what you're going to do from now on, traders? You traders, from now on, you make sure that when you see a downtrend, you have a resistance here, you make your resistance, you put your technical levels, and then you're going to acknowledge that price at some point, it's going to come back to the resistance at some point, and it's my opportunity to sell. Either you put your pending orders here, if you don't want to trade candlestick pattern, that's okay. It's nothing right or wrong. If you trade candlestick, if you trade bar charts, if you just have your sell limit in the market, nothing wrong. As long as you put your stop losses and everything, as long as you have a good rewards, risk reward ratio. We talked about this in previous webinars. So uh, at this point here, the trader has to be alert wait in this example i use some candlestick pattern see the buyers they are still buying and then massive momentum selling pressure enters the market bearish engulfing engulfs the body of the previous candle and then the price moves to the downside 
So, and here it's a summary of what we discussed today. Okay. Um, first traders, they have the beliefs about the confirmation they want to see in the market. They, at many times, many traders, they see this correction, they recognize it, but they are afraid to put their orders here. Or if they see this dodgy or this hammer, candlestick pattern, whatever you want to call it, they don't have the trust, that belief to buy from lower price. Then they see some green candles develop or whatever color you use for bullish candles. And they start buying here. Like I had a few example traders, they've done it in the, uh, in the New Zealand against the US dollar. Last week, we were analyzing that market. We said that we buy at as low as possible price. The market gave three to one and they were traders that um, they bought right at the top. Why? Because as humans, we have that uncertainty in that high level that we don't trust our process and we bring this in trading. We have the tendency not to trust ourselves. We have the tendency that if I have, and pay attention to these guys, if I have two, three green candles in a row, it means that buying pressure is in the market. So if I buy here, I'm going to be right. I'm not going to be wrong. And I'm going to wait for, our, for this endless, endless move to the upside. And on a straight line. So that's what traders, they demand from the market. And unfortunately, that's how, the, that's how they take their actions and their decisions about the market. But a trader who understands the probabilities that we, we mentioned on the previous webinars and upon many, many requests on my next webinar, I'm going to go through again the probabilities. Guys, this webinar here and the next webinar I will do, um, they're going to be a massive a transition for every trader. I don't know if you have friends that are trading, if you trade yourself, if you have, if you, whoever you know and don't know that they want to start trading, put them to watch this webinar when we're going to upload it on the YouTube tomorrow. And of course, the next webinar when I'm going to do uh, not only the one I'm going to do with Paul and Jens, but the one I will do like this series of trading psychology webinars. I will go extensively about trading probabilities because you're going to combine this. Let's say this is the A webinar and the B webinar. They're going to just be um, a game changer for, for those who are going to be dedicated and they're going to watch it and they're going to understand it. Okay. And they're going to apply it. So... We want to confirm that green candles, they are in the market in order to go long and the opposite red candles to go short. Why? Because of lack of, uh, of, lack of confidence. That's the second one. So we don't trust a lot and we are not confident about our trading system and why traders, they have this uh, mental... Um, barrier because they don't accept and listen to that guys traders do not accept the fact that any trading system in the world it will give losing trades if you have this pattern here on the 1st of december 2022 on the euro against the us dollar and you see this uptrend and the price comes right here in this area and you buy and you experience a good 2 to 1 or 3 to 1 winning trade. Then on the 1st of uh, February, let's say, on the 1st of February 2023, 
exactly the same currency pairs, euro, US dollar, exactly the same pattern uptrend, exactly the same correction, maybe it's not going to work out and maybe the trend line is going to break and the market is going to create a new market structure. So you replicate in the same currency pair, the same pattern, the same trading system with the same stop losses and take profits. One trade won, the second trade losses. What do you do? You are human. What do we do? We are human. We go back to our trading plan, to our trading methodology, to our trading system, and we erase it. Why? Because we think it's not working. We have the tendency as human beings when we experience a result that makes us feel bad emotions to associate with it something wrong with the system. Because we have that dignity of choices as humans. So we think that if, I'm, if I have this losing trade, my system is wrong. It's like the car broke down. But in trading, it's not worked this way. In trading, it works differently. It works with probabilities. First, we have to acknowledge what do we do. And we don't do, you don't do guys anything wrong. Absolutely nothing. You don't do anything wrong. You just do what you know how to survive in your daily life. But now, knowing and acknowledge and confirm your actions, on the next webinar, we're going to go to reset the trading way of thinking. We're going to go to totally, totally, totally engage ourselves in a totally different framework, in a totally different state of mind that when we're trading, we're going to just have A, B, C, and that's it. And that comes down to understand the probabilities. And then I will explain you how to implement in your trading. All right. The third one is traders, they don't believe in the price action. They live in that kind of um, randomness theory. Randomness exists, but at some, uh, but how can you not beat randomness? How can you be ahead in your trading? Randomness in price action exists, especially in the lower time frame. Price action, let's say it's moving, doing higher highs. Then at some price is doing this uh, shaking to the downside. Then it continues higher. Yes, it's all, it, it happens in the market. But we have a system that has measurable results, and that's what we're going to find out with the law of probabilities. And uh, the biggest one for me, the biggest one that comes and erase um, everything in trading, and I will leave you with this one, ladies and gentlemen, it's the fear of losing a trade. This is a huge subject. I would love to have hours to explain you why you do it and how can you overcome it. Okay, I used to do it a lot when I was um, uh, in, in coaching, let's say. Uh, I had traders and we were spending hours and hours until they developed as a trader they wanted to develop. So the fear of losing in a trade always exists in every trader's head, in my head as well. But, but there is a time and point that we have to understand why we behave like this. It's normal. We are humans. We have fears. We are emotional creatures. That's okay. But at some point, we have to face it, not to fight it, to face it that that's real. That's how we are. But in trading, we're going to learn how to think as traders, how to think in terms of market perspective and then trust me ladies and gentlemen you're gonna you're gonna live a totally totally different transition in your trading you're gonna become the trader you always wanted to become and you're gonna experience trading 
in the best best possible way. Well, all right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I have to say that it was an, an absolute uh, pleasure and honor to, to do this webinar for you today. I know a few people, they say goodbye. They already left because the time it's uh, supposed to finish by now. So really thanks everyone for your participation. I really hope you gain lots and lots of value from this webinar. Please make sure to leave your feedback after I close this webinar. So I know what you want to see more. If you have any anything to express, say it, how you feel about your trading. Uh, if you find it uh, useful here. <laughs> Irina, that's okay. Uh, why has it ended so soon? Because there are other webinars they're going to take place using the same uh, Zoom account. So we dedicate only one hour. Guys, this... This type of uh, the psychology of trading, in order to really to, to, to tell you what I want to tell you and do the practices and exercise, takes me two days. <laughs> That's why I used to do the coaching a lot because it was helping the individuals, the traders to get developed different. Okay. So, uh, as I said, please make sure you leave your feedback and I wish you to have a lovely day wherever you are in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so, so, so much. Recording definitely will be on the YouTube. Please make sure you like and subscribe on the YouTube. So active the notification button so you will receive the notification when we will put it uh, live. In the meantime, I hope everyone stay safe, happy trading, and I will see you tomorrow on the live trading webinar at uh, 7.30 uh, GMT time in the morning. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Bye.